Alright, so we've got some scouting report kind of stuff. Don't really need that too much. And uh, we have got a chance offer from Marco Andrioli. But now Campanagra is gone. I don't want to sell this guy. So I'm going to disallow future offers. Because I need all centre-backs I can get at the moment. And also Spurs pretty much straight up reject our offer for Lamella. So that's not going to happen. So I guess we're just going to move on and stick with Joel Campbell now. Alright, so we're now going to go and set the Joel Campbell deal. Because now the Lamella deal is dead in the water. We might as well get him. 75 rated, 22 years, you know, age. You know, it seems okay. 22 years age, I meant 22 years old. So it does seem pretty good. I think it could be a good signing for the club. And he'll definitely do a lot better than Jonathan can. And he can be a long-term servant as well. So we'll just quickly take a look, look at his stats. And if you compare him to Jonathan, uh, that would kind of help if I could find him. Um, so basically, you know, he has a bigger, faster acceleration um, a few, I don't know, has he got a few more greens? Obviously, they're both the same rating, so they're kind of similar. But obviously, if you look at the age, 28, 22, um, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer pretty much. I think Joe Campbell will be a better player in the future, and he's got a few better traits as well. So I'm pretty happy with that signing. Would have liked Lamella, but it just would have cost too much for what we've got at the moment. All right, so we've got a chance offer for this guy, Enrico Baldino, and he's going to go over to Lanciano. I, th I think I've muddled that name, apologies, but you know, he's going to go off on loan and also uh, we got a offer from Everton, well not an offer, but they've just rejected our bid for Seamus Coleman, so they still want that £12,500,000, which I'm not going to accept, so hopefully the Caravial deal just go through now, that's what I'm hoping, and so let's keep going along and let's see what Real Madrid have to say, or Caravial have to say at this point. Alright, so Caravial has rejected, and it's not because of the fact of any monetary issues, so once again I put a 65000 he just wants to be a crucial first team player, which he will be, he will be a crucial first team player. Um, so we'll just give that to him and hopefully we'll take a pay cut to come to Inter Milan, which would be quite good. Well, it seems kind of it didn't work. He kind of wants a lot more money. He wants to be persuaded. So we will give him the £70,000 he wants. And we'll give him 20% because that does, I think it is nothing. I don't know why they included that EA. I don't know, but it does nothing. So hopefully he accepts that. A bit of a shame that he doesn't actually take a pay cut, but hey... You know, if I can match his demand and hopefully accept that, hopefully he doesn't want any more, and I guess I'd be kind of happy with that. Alright, so we have got a trans offer for Andrea Paletti, and he's going to go on loan right now. He's, once again, 18 years old, not really got too much to offer, so I just thought, you know, send him out alone, get some experience, and hopefully he will come back a better player, but we'll just have to see. And let's see, and he's declined once again. He wants more money. He just wants the money. So we'll go ahead with a 80 grand offer. Unfortunately, I didn't think it would come to this. But hey, what can you do? And so let's hope they just go and accept that. But we're just going to have to see. We've also got another chance to offer for Isaac, uh, Isaac Donker. From Kilmarnock, so he's going to go out on, on loan to the Scottish side. Caravial has accepted the offer. £80,000. £8.5 as well. So pretty good offer. For me, I think it is a pretty good deal in my part. I think Real Madrid have kind of been ripped off for the transfer sum, in my opinion. So I'll go and accept that. I think he'll be a good player for this side, and I got him on the cheap as well. So we're just gonna go and check his like his overall and that sort of stuff. I think he is 79 rated. Wow. Okay, I didn't think he was that good. I think we just got ourselves a bargain, an absolute bargain. I'm actually really ecstatic with that. 22 years of age as well. He's going to be an amazing player. And he's going to go straight into the side ahead of the Ambrosino. So I'm really happy with that. And I've now got, I believe, like £4 million to work with. And also £100,000 on the wage budget. So I'm just going to go sign like, you know, like a kind of okayish centre-back. And that would probably be the end of my transfer dealings for this summer. Alright guys, I just made an error. I wasn't recording the live commentary, unfortunately. But we did beat Southampton 3-0 in a pre-season friendly and we got no injuries and I am pretty happy with that. It was a good comprehensive performance and Southampton are a pretty hard team but I was just worried about the injuries to be honest so I'm, I'm quite happy we got no injuries from that game. So guys we have got a few players which I'm looking at you know in the centre back region and my first target has to be Phil Jones. I, I think my United will probably want me to pay a lot to get him off their hands. So we're just going with a £5 million bid. And what I'm going to do is just put £5 million on all the other players. And uh, we'll see if they accept or not. And hopefully I will get my main mount, which is Phil Jones. If not, Barcher will be a pretty good player. 
But Matt, it will be, you know, it'll be okay. But hopefully, I will, I will be able to get Jones. So, guys, we've got a preseason friendly against Levante right here. Once again, just hoping for no injuries from my team. You know, to be honest, I should probably play like a second team. But, you know, um, no injuries. Great. Okay, that's pretty good. We drew 2 2 against Levante. Jonathan and Palacio with the two goals. But we have no injuries. So, I'm pretty happy with that. And I will move on to the next game, hopefully. We've got one more preseason, and then it's on to the season, the actual season. Hopefully, we'll be able to do quite well. And uh, yeah, let's carry on. So, you know, Barcelona have actually accepted their offer. So, we're gonna, I'm not really going to bother with Matip. I'd rather get Bartra. So, £5 million, pounds, he has a decent wage, 60000 So, we're going to put a five-year contract Important first team player and we've just put this to 20% and hopefully he will go and accept that. So guys, we've got some bad news right now. Phil Jones or Manchester United have said no straight up. Um, well, you know, it was bound to happen. I don't think Phil Jones is going to be too of an easy transfer target if that makes any sense. I mean, he is of course an important first team player. So we'll go for a 7.5 million. We haven't even got that much, have we? Oh god, right, 7 million, we haven't got that much, we're kind of in a bit of a financial, I wouldn't say crisis, but you know, we're not really doing too well, I'll put a 6.5 million pound bid in, but at the moment, looking at my financial kind of statistics, Bartra kind of looks a bit more of a better option in my opinion. So guys, this is our final pre-season friendly, I just want to show you something which is just absolutely stupid, look at this break which you got. I don't know if this is normally, I think this is actually how the serial season goes. We've got one game, why one live commentary game before transfer deadline day until we go into the overlay, which I think is a bit weird. But uh, we're going to go sim the game against South Stoke City, of course, at home. And so this is actually the second Premier League team which we played in our preseason friendly. It's going with the same squad pretty much. Sim, and we've got no injuries, and Joel Campbell gets a brace. 5 on 1 against Stoke City. Result. Alright, so Bartra has rejected because he loves living at Barcelona. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in Barcelona? It's a beautiful place if you haven't already been there. Went on holiday, it's fantastic. But we're going to give him an important first team player. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give him a squad rotation player because that is what he's kind of going to be. Because we've got Renokia. We have got one Jesus, so he's kind of be a backup, a backup defender. So we'll give him that, and we'll see what he says to that. And Manchester United have came back to us and said they want 12 million pounds for Phil Jones, which I don't really see as too good of an option. I think Bartra is an equally as good player as Jones, and I think 12 million is just a tad bit expensive. But in all honesty, Phil Jones is more of an important player to Manchester United than Bartra is to Barcelona. So it does make sense. I can get Bartra on the cheap. So Bartra has rejected their offer because he wants a bigger squad role. So basically, I don't think money's, money's too big of an option. So I'll just give him that first important first team player. I guess, you know, he is stepping down from Barcelona to Inter Milan. So it does make sense. But hopefully, just go and accept that offer. All right, so we've got a transfer offer for Gaston Kamara from Pescara. Um, once again, on loan. So we'll go send him off to on loan. And hopefully, he will come back and once again. Hopefully as the next Leona Messi. So we've got a chance to offer for Handanovic. There is no way in how 25 million and he's 30 years old. No, he, he's staying at the club. I know I have to keep him here, but 25 million is a lot. That was actually quite tempting, but I have to keep him at the club. He's too big of a player and I want to keep him for at least this season. So once again, Bartra's has come back to us and said he wants more money. Now, I've actually done a final scouts report on Matip and... You know, he has the same amount of wages, and if I can get Matip on the cheap, or a lot cheaper, then I will rather go for Matic. But, you know, once again, Bartosz is just being, you know, a real pain. So, we'll give him an, an improved offer right now, but if I am honest, you know, I, I know Joel Matic seems like a little bit of a better option now. But we'll just go put a, I think we can put 75,000, but that is quite a lot for him. And I will give him the important first team player and 20% clean sheet bonus. So Schalke have also come back to us and said, no, we are not selling him for £4 million. I think that's what I offered. So that's a bit, you know, annoying. You know what, I'll match it. I'll go for £5 million and see if they accept that. Now, Matib is a slightly better player than Bartra. So it'd be quite interesting to see what I do at that point, to be honest. I'm not really sure at the moment. Just see what Bartra says to his contract offer, which I sent him. So Mark Bartra has actually went and accepted the offer, which is pretty good. So I don't know about the Matip deal, if I'm honest. 
what we're going to see, I'm going to see what Shark could do. If they reject the offer, I'm just going to leave it and go for Bartra. If not, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, so Shark have rejected the offer. They want 6.5 million. Perfect. Just kind of gives me less headache. Let's go sign Mark Bartra. He's now come into the club, which I am quite happy about. 76 rated, a good backup defender because, of course, we got Rinocchio. He's quite young. I think at like 25. Then Jesus, oh, Jesus, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Is it Jesus or Jesus? Or is it something else? Please tell me in the comments. But Barcher will be a good defender. Just put on the bench instead of this guy. And I think he hopefully will do a pretty good job. So I am going to end the episode here. If you guys want to see the next episode really quickly, let's go and drop loads of likes on this upload. Next, uh, next episode will be the start of the brand new season. And I'll also show you guys a squad report. So smash the like button. Subscribe to our iHarps HD. And I will see you guys in the next video of the Interland Career Mode. So, yep, yeah, see you guys.